Hello, Christian here and welcome to 100 Days of Summer. So as everybody knows, there is a phenomenal amount of effort and energy gone into making the games possible uh, for them to start in 59 days. And this is sort of evidenced by the announcements last week that the, the games will proceed, but not without a lot of precautions and a lot of effort and energy to make sure they're safe and make sure that everyone's participating is safe, make sure that everyone's visiting the country is safe, and obviously most importantly, the, the inhabitants, the people who live within Tokyo and within Japan. So, you know, a lot of consideration, a a lot of work has gone into making this a safe games. And I guess this was really highlighted this morning. Uh, we're talking about venue technology and we're talking uh, with the team, I have one of my regular calls, and we were discussing the challenges of the delivery for the Diva network. So this is the first time we're going to deploy a data intercom video and audio network specifically to deal with signal transports in and around uh, the venues, uh, interconnecting the different services of Panasonic and Omega and OBS and the broadcasters and all of those constituent stakeholders to make all of those services work. And I guess what highlighted it for me was that, and, and, and really sort of goes to demonstrate the effort that, that goes into this is, and how different and how unique our sport event industry is. We were, we were dealing with a problem with the fact that we've got constrained amount of time on the venues. And that means that unfortunately, because of all, the, all of the different countermeasures and all of the procedures and pieces in place, Obviously, that's impacting the amount of time we have on the venue. And I don't know many industries where, and I raised this at the point as a point on the call, I said, you know, how unique we find ourselves, where, where we're asking and we're kind of fighting for our opportunity to work longer hours so that we can deliver the service. We're wanting to work on the weekends instead of not working on the weekends. We want to make sure this happens. And I guess it really just uh, highlighted to me how unique our industry is because people who work in, in sport events and, and the event sides, the, you know, my fellow colleagues and friends as, as sport workers, you know, we, we are very much service orientated and it's all about delivering our services and ensuring that we create the stage for the athletes. We make sure that the audiences at home, or however they're consuming the sport event and specifically the games, is we reach that audience. And I was just really proud because I thought, you know, this is a, a unique group, you know, and I'm talking not just a few people, this is you know, thousands of people who are all making their effort and, and choosing to go to Tokyo and to deliver services so that people can do their best. So the athletes can get on the stage and do their best and we can, and we can engage the, the planet uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks of sport. Uh, so yeah, really proud of that. Um, and it's one that I'm really proud to be a part of. Uh, and I think it makes it quite unique. As I said, I think we're very much a service orientated industry and it is all about delivering our services and making sure that it's possible so that everyone can enjoy the games. And this is applies to every event. I also remember I was speaking to a good friend who just got back from a fencing uh, world championships and, and out in Cairo in Egypt. And as an extreme example, again, this just highlights how committed everyone is to making sure these events happen. Um, you know, they created the bubble environment, so the athletes and officials and everybody was really well looked after and make sure everybody was safe, all the countermeasures in place. But I was really surprised to hear that not only were the athletes and everybody, but the hotel staff also were within this bubble environment. So it was a massive commitment by the service industry, by the sports industry, to ensure that we could host this event. So it's important to understand that this is a lot about the people that make this happen. As I say, super proud to be part of this community and just wanted to share that little insight, you know, uh, of what my call was this morning with the team. We'll pick up some more about the technology in the, in the coming posts. And, so wherever you are, please stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.